thought, hopefully you can see these. I shut the light off because there was a lot of glare. I just thought I would do like an overview of all the Jane Davenport layer cake paints that I had. And I thought I would do a little demonstration. Right, Murph? <laughs> so this is um, pretty much copied from a picture I saw online, but I added a couple of things. So sort of a Vincent Van Gogh uh, tribute, sort of <laughs> homage, I don't know. Anyway, so I thought I would, um, I did this in pencil, and I thought I would just use the um, layer cakes to color it in. And these, um, these do smudge after they dry, so I have to do a fixative over it, but I've had good luck previously doing that, so hopefully it'll turn out okay. So I'm gonna try to figure out which colors I'm going to use, and I'll get started. All right, where should we start? Where's the picture? So these are the first dry gouache I've ever heard of. If you know of any other ones, let me know. <laughs> I do like gouache, but I'm used to just tube gouache. So, or the Liquitex, the acrylic gouache comes in a a bottle. Right, I gotta pull this down. It just had water and just kind of swish it around a little bit. If you've ever watched, um, Jane Davenport does a lot of um, Facebook lives. And she's just so good. I mean, she takes whatever her materials are and just comes up with these really great paintings and I just go, oh, I need that. I can do that. And I get it. And I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> but she's very convincing, <laughs> which is why I end up buying a lot of her supplies. It's very opaque. Yeah, I saw this picture on one of those like shopping sites and it was for an embroidery kit and it was this face guy this body and it was this flower so I just added a couple more flowers and some of his starry night stars and I just thought it would be a fun design to paint I have two sweaters on today. <laughs> I have a t-shirt and then I've got two cardigans on top of it. When is spring gonna come? I mean, spring lasts about three weeks and then it's summer. You go from freezing to, oh, this is comfortable and then, oh my God, it's so hot. <laughs> Immediately. I wish we would have longer springs and falls because they're the more mild seasons. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Huh? I guess I'll have to paint the background now.
So there are uh, a lot of great colors that come with these sets. Um, but also, if you can't find the exact perfect shade, they really mix well, and you can use the um, the palettes, the, the containers themselves as palettes. So I really like these. So I didn't show when I um, painted, but you can see on the edges of the sunflowers, I did do sort of a, um, a shadowy color to them just to give them a little bit of depth. Um, I don't know, I think I was probably off <laughs> when I was recording. I was kind of down below where the camera is, so I probably just cut that out. Okay, I think I'm done. I would have preferred to do a light background, like an orange or a yellow, but because the stuff I splatted on there was dark, <laughs> uh, it wouldn't have worked. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I will do a fixative and that'll be it. I want to show you the original picture. Like that, yeah. So I kinda like that, I like the way it came out. And the gouache, these are fun to work with. I just, I never think to do it. I think what I'm gonna do is add some outlines. So I had a little bit of trouble getting the Poscas to work on top of the dried gouache. I tried the Posca, I tried um, Montana, I tried the Permapake. The Permapake tended to work the best. So that's why that little pad of paper is there. I was working my Posca marker, trying to get the ink out of it. Um, I'm not sure if it would, be different if I tried it after I put the fixative on or not, but it eventually worked out. Okay. I think I like it a little bit better. Um, I kind of want to do a, I want to do a black outline, but that pen doesn't seem to work very well. Maybe I can use a Sharpie or something. Okay, I think that's done. Didn't intend on doing the outline, but um, it just looks better with an outline, if you ask me. Um, so that's it. So I used, let's see, I used the gouache. I used a permanent marker. It's kind of like a, like a Sharpie. What was the other thing I used? Oh, uh, an acrylic marker. Not this color, but uh, the Permapake. That's it. That's it. Okay. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, I hope to see you next time. And thank you for watching.